Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Aquarius for the mid-month of November 2020. So I'm calling these my mid-month minis. So I'm trying to not get tongue-tied while I'm doing that. But this is going to be a very short reading just to kind of give you a heads up of what's happening for the rest of the month for you. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like these readings and you want me to do more of these mid-month minis. There we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it down pat. All right. I also have five spots left for the From Pain to Power mentorship for the month of November. So if you're interested in learning more about taking your power back after toxic relationships, you can wait till the end of this video and I will give you some more details. All right. So let's get to it here. We've got the overall energy for you is the Three of Swords here. So this could be that you might feel stabbed in the heart. You might be broken hearted. Um, you know, with everything going on, especially in America right now, definitely could feel like you've taken one, um, to the heart, really a knife to the heart. So that's for some of you. And again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For other of you, this could be a relationship happening because I do feel as though they're making me feel as though you might have to leave someone behind in order for your relationship to work out is what I'm getting. You've got the Six of Swords with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So for some of you, this could be a third party situation where you are feeling pulled to somebody else. And this might mean that you have to leave someone behind and it might be a good person. So therefore you feel broken hearted. It could be a friend that is no longer in your vibration. Um, but maybe you have other people or other friends that you're trying to, you know, um, you're enjoying their company more than somebody that you've been friends with for a long time. So the moral of the story here is that you are leaving something behind and you're really just letting go. And it breaks your heart because it's not like it's a bad situation, but it's like you've grown apart. And there's something else waiting for you with this Ten of Cups. So this could be like a best friend that isn't appreciating the relationship that you have. It could be a coworker that isn't appreciating like maybe even like you stepping into a new promotion or something like this because you do have the Knight of Wands. So you're taking a lot of action for the rest of this month to really um, be in this other relationship, to make this other relationship work. And again, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be any kind of partnership or connection to somebody else. But I do feel as though you're taking a lot of um, or making a lot, taking a lot of action to let go of the things that are not letting this other relationship, friendship, co-work or whatever work. Okay, so let's see what shocker card we need to work on. What shocker card does Aquarius need to work on? Yeah, destiny. Ooh, I love this. Especially for here. So whatever this Ten of Cups is here, whatever it is, uh, whatever relationship you're trying to work on there and you know that you need to let other things go, like let them go because this is your destiny here and this is your crown chakra. So this is really your connection to the divine. So you're being divinely guided to this relationship. Now, whether it works out forever or not, that's not, we're not here to say that, but it's needed in your journey to continue to move forward. Okay, so even though it feels sad, even though it feels like your heart's breaking because you really don't want to let go of this relationship, your intuition is screaming that you need to because on the other side of letting go of that, everything's going to start to flow in and this is your destiny here. So um, I love that for you guys. So I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if that resonates with you for the rest of the month of November. And if you guys are interested in my From Pain to Power mentorship, this is an eight-week deep healing uh, program to really heal after toxic relationships, dive into your childhood, and finally release the energy, which is what a lot of people miss. Release the energy around um, your childhood and other relationships to really transform your limiting to beliefs, releasing the energy, uh, building your confidence, and really taking your power back in your relationships in your life. Never settling for a narcissistic, toxic relationship again and really start to attract the good people into your life. If you're interested in learning to see if you're a good fit for that, you can go ahead and click the description box or in the comments below, you can see the link there as well. All right, go ahead and make sure you hit the subscribe button. You can follow me over in Facebook and I will see you next month. Let me know what you thought about the mid-month minis. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.